It all starts at the nebula, a big space filled with gas and dust. This is where our journey begins. It is often called a star's nursery. There are many different kinds, as shown with these two pictures. But then comes the protostar. Here the star acts like a toddler, with lots of developing to come as the next stage starts. This next stage is known as the main sequence. This is when a star is most stable and most likely to be able to support life. This stage is also the longest. The next part of our journey is the supergiant. At this point, our star is getting old and starts to use up more gases. It then starts growing, enveloping anything too close to it, such as planets or moons orbiting the star. Our star then enters the supernova phase, where it explodes, creating a large cloud in space that can last anywhere from a week to a whole month. Then our star takes us one of two ways. In this case, it takes us to the black hole phase, where the enormous mass of it all makes the supernova collapse on itself and starts engulfing everything around it, even other stars.